Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. A super important video for you today because first of all, it affects your handling, it affects the road noise, it affects the suspension noise on your car, and it also might help your roadworthy or MOT certificate to pass on the first go. And most importantly, this not gonna cost you even $1 to fix. So my car failed the roadworthy because of two issues. First of all, I had issue with uh, my control arms, which I actually fixed them. And you can watch the way I did that in my previous video. But the other issue was the excessive play on the front bearings. I have seen many videos on YouTube that people have done this in a wrong way. So let's follow the WIS Mercedes-Benz instruction once for all and fix this issue today. So this process is the same for W202, W203, W208, 209, 210, 211 and most of the Mercedes-Benz that are real wheel drive. So the first thing you need to do is eliminate the wobble and the free play of the disc or the rotor first of all and that is possible by using lug nuts and some nuts so let's use two of these according to Mercedes WIS without using the lug nuts you might end up with lots of play coming from the rotors and that might give you wrong information about the correct amount of play coming from the bearings so let's tighten these two bolts Second, you want to remove your caliper or you need to push back the pistons for your caliper all the way in so you can have the free play from your hob easily. So now that our rotor rotates freely without the friction from the pads, we are good to go and we don't have to remove the caliper. And using a screwdriver, remove this little cover. Then we need a little cleanup over here so we can use our tool and hands freely. And then when we are finished, we can apply some more grease over here to make the bearing last longer then we can go ahead and set up our dial indicator on the hub itself these are cheap only twenty dollars from ebay these dials are incremented at 0 0.01 of millimeter so one full turn makes only one millimeter so they are so precise as you can see this hop and this bearing has more than three times of the permissible play the play should not be more than 0 0.02 of millimeter i have seen in other videos that people do install their dial indicators somewhere except on the hop itself which should be this area over here if if you install on the disc itself you will end up with less play because the more further you go from the center of the circle the more play you will get and then if you limit your play you will have three or four times less play and you will burn and ruin your bearing prematurely So adjust using your hand or to be a bit more precise using a screwdriver in the notch and try again. I think this is the way it should be right now. I'm getting between 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 pushing at 6 and 12 o'clock in and out 
So as you can see, maximum amount of play that I'm getting right now is 0 0.2, which seems to be fine. It's not that bad anymore and it doesn't make too much of a bad noise. So this is the perfect amount of play you need to have to have a long bearing life as well as a good handling and no noise when driving on the potholes. This is the correct amount of play I should have. It's about 0 0.015 which seems to be the correct amount of play. And when you're done adjusting the bearing play carefully without hampering the adjustment, go ahead and tighten the bolt and then check again for the play and if you're happy, remove the dial, use some good bearing grease around the bearing Install back the cover Give your rotor a good spin to make sure it's freely spinning and not tight and then you're good to put the wheel back While you're here, it's a good idea to check your brake pad your brake sensor your rotor also, if you haven't flushed your brake fluid recently in the past two years, it's probably a good time to do so. Here I include the screenshots from WIS instruction. Also, I will include the specs for the free play of the bearings for different models. At the end, the wheels should be spinning like this, freely. And there should be no harsh sound coming from them. When you use your hands at 6 and 12 o'clock, but there always should be some free play. Otherwise the bearing might get hot and get damaged prematurely okay guys thank you so much for watching liking subscribing and have a great day let's go